What is up, everyone? It is the Mad King Paradox that's bringing you Ruby, Volume 4, Chapter 3, A Runaway and Stowaways. I actually just said A Runaway and Stowaways. It's of Runaways and Stowaways. Wow! Technical difficulties galore and a lot of time wasted, and I start off with that. Awesome! So, like usual, I skip past the intro. I haven't seen this uh, episode yet. I saw from the title screen that it's about Blake, which really wondering what's going on there. And quick little, uh, I don't want to say theory because I'm certain people have thought about it already, but I haven't really discussed it yet. The guy who was the fondest that Team Witch, I believe, are going by or going to go speak to about the White Fang. And going back to season one, when Blake said that she was somewhat born into it. I'm pretty certain they pretty much made it obvious that her dad was the original leader. So, seeing as how we're going to be going off of Blake this time, let's see if that holds any water, because right now it's very viable. So, follow along if you will. I'll be reacting per usual, and let us begin. I am currently at the minute and 27 mark, so here we go. Not a bad looking ship. Turn the volume down a little bit. Oh, we start off with Blake. Alright. Now, now. No wow, you're paranoid. Just here to chat. <laughs> that stance, though. Why is that? Well. Not many people travel by boat on their own. It can be quite a lonely voyage. But I've found those that do. That's that not that big an issue, though. Interesting stories. Maybe it's just better for some people to be alone. <laughs> and there's our favorite emo. <laughs> Maybe. But with your paranoia, I think a few friendly faces would hurt. <laughs> Who says I'm paranoid? <laughs> No one, dear. No. Oh, one. when's he gonna show up? Oh, um. Who, who is the I monkey know. guy's name? I forgot. It's like right there on the tip of my tongue. Fuck. I'm gonna remember halfway through the episode. It's like. Oh, she took off the ribbon. Um. So is she no longer using the ribbon? Oh, shit. That. Wow. That's him, is it? He. Ocean. Grim. And now Yang. Oh, you got me teased with the Ocean Grim. I've been wanting to see those. Like, just a big-ass Leviathan whale and a shark just come out of nowhere. Oh, the doggy! Though the fail-saves have supported wireless communication within the kingdom, the loss of the CCT Tower continues to prevent contact with the outside world. Talks with Atlas officials regarding repairs have so far... The Vale Council voted this week to continue to ban any air traffic that does not have a direct Did her hair get bigger? Council has made it clear like, that they feel that in the, the hair stuff okay from that angle, no, but from the back it looked like her hair got poofier. Well no one knows for sure. Officials have oh, hey, I remember that you. White Fang member Adam Torres was present for the attack. Any and all attempts to bring him into custody have been met with brutal force. I'm home! Hey, Dad. Guess what came in today? Is that all clothes? What? I can't wait for you to try this. Is it an arm? It's an arm. With the Atlas seal on it. Well, it's 
for me? For you and you only. It's an arm. Brand new, state-of-the-art Atlas Tech. You know, I thought I was going to have to pull some strings, call in a few favors, but you were in this one all on your own, kiddo. Huh? Before I could even talk to him, General Ironwood already had one of his top scientists working on this. For you. Really? He wanted me to tell you that you fought admirably. You should be proud of yourself. She's going to deny it, isn't well, she? you're going to try it on? She looks so dead inside. I'm not feeling too great right now. Maybe later? Just put on the arm. Well, all right. I knew she was going to mope for a while, but you now have a replacement arm. Put it on. Thanks, Dad. Like for this moment right here, learning to sweep a basic skill with your new arm would be a perfect opportunity. Or even checking the mail. Or washing dishes. Well. He's around the corner. Yep. Not a bad little segment with Yang there. Okay, there's more faunus on the boat. That might be why she's more comfortable with her ears out. Hello, Mr. Shadowy Figure, who I'm pretty certain you're there. Yep, it's him. I saw the blonde hair. Oh, what is his name? It's like... It's like some Chinese-sounding name. Hello, Leviathan Grimm. Red Alert! Is that the sea creature from the beginning of God of War? Oh, it's a water dragon! All hands to battle stations! Oh, that's... Sir, we've never fought a grim this big! We've Man never up. seen something this big. But we'll give her a fight nonetheless. I like the captain. So far? One of my favorite Grimm. I love dragons, and I love water creatures. This is a water dragon Grimm. Oh, please tell me you're gonna thrust the pointed part of the ship into it. That would be amazing. Man the cannons. Heard already. Bring out the big gun. What are you doing? Okay, that is cool. Heavy cannon, open fire. So it's it's. Air and sea. Oh, and it's fire and laser. Yep, there he is. Sun. Sun. That's what his name was. I am stupid. What are you doing? Uh, hanging out. Just uh, hanging out. 
was just riding an ocean sky dragon. Like, what is his full name? It's like Sun Long or You're something? You're not supposed to be here. Yeah? Well, it looks like you can use all the help you can get. Ugh. She's gonna drop him. Just yep. shut up and fight. <laughs> yes, man. Just lying there. Starboard defenses <laughs> are down, sir. We still got the heavy cannon. Aye, but it's moving too fast. We can't land a hit. Wait a minute. Is it fighting Come electricity out of its mouth? But yet it was in the water. I'm really loving this thing. There's the staff. If you can clip its wings and draw it out towards the bow, we can take it. I mean, you're the one with the swords. Now or never. I love how both of their semblances are like very similar. Just copies of themselves that they can be physically a part of. There goes the wing. That should this have hurt. Part where you say it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe later. <laughs> yep, still able to fly, I thought so. Pull the lever. <laughs> Nice save there. Gets hit. Yes, I knew they would skewer it! I called that shit! Oh, and the top half got completely blown apart. Oh, I was really hoping they would skewer it with the boat. She's pissy. to the other people on the boat. You think they've never seen a fight before? What are you doing here, son? Taking the new outfit, by the way. Never did <laughs> like the boat. Son. Jeez. Have you been following me? A little bit. I saw you run off. The night beacon tower fell. Once we landed in Vale, you made sure everyone was okay. And then you just took off without saying anything. I had to. Sounds about right. You wouldn't understand. No, I get it. The moment you left, I knew exactly what you were doing. You're going on a one-woman rampage against the White Fang! What? You always <laughs> felt like the Fang was your fight. To show up, trash your school, hurt your friends, it makes perfect sense. I can't believe you. But there's no way I'm letting you do this alone. It's an honorable approach for sure, but you're going to need someone watching your back. And that's where I come in. Us fauna's got to stick together after all. You're wrong, son. You're so, so wrong. What are you... I'm not going anywhere near the White Fang. Not yet. Not Seriously? yet. So he was half I right. I sort some things out. Then why not do it with your team? Your friends? You're one to talk. Because they're Assuming broken Neptune up at the moment. And Scarlet aren't hiding below deck. You really think I could get Neptune on the ocean? <laughs> yeah, good point. I didn't even think about that. I told him I'd catch up. Not the first time I left him to take a boat. Yeah, his so, intro. If you're not going after the White Fang, where are you going? To that little island where all the faunas go? To Menagerie. Yeah. Well, I'm coming with you. The 
the Grim are getting worse. You saw it yourself. And just because you're not going after the Fang doesn't mean they won't be coming for you. Besides, I'm kind of already on the boat. <laughs> There's really no stopping you. Nope. This is going to oh, be great. Come on. Never what? been to Menagerie before. It'll be a regular journey to the east. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Oh, the moon looks nice in the water. Oh, hello, evil team. Do you feel it? Cinder, like what's going on? I can sense your trepidation. She you put something inside of her, didn't she? Dread you. What the fuck is that? Is that a Joey fish? That's a jellyfish. Why do I get like a Metroid vibe from this jellyfish? One more time, and I expect a clear answer. Did you kill Ospin? Oh, she doesn't believe her. I kinda got a problem. Yes. No body still, so unconfirmed kill. Reinforce our numbers at Beacon. The relic is there. What does that thing do? And what is this relic? What are you planning? Okay. First off, Evil Team Lair. She doesn't believe Ozpin is dead. Again, I follow the Bond rule. If there's no body, there's no confirmation. So, more than likely, he's still alive. Second off, what is with the jellyfish? The Metroid jellyfish. The, the jelly troid. That's what I'm going to call him. A jelly troid. What is with that thing? Because she brought it in, seemed as though she was going to use it to get information out of Cinder, so I'm assuming it's some sort of torture creature where it'll kill you slowly over time so maybe that's something that she uses it for but then she told it to rally troops so this thing even though I'm certain is a very minor grim still has some importance so there's that second off I hate that it took me so long to remember Sun's name. It was right there, but I kept thinking towards Yang and her dad and names like that, which I knew was wrong, so I wasn't going to say it. But I was in the ballpark. I did miss the staff, though. The staff looks updated to me. Like, when he got the close-up, when he was on his arm before the fight, I saw details that I either missed before or they were updated to where it looks cleaner. So I really enjoyed that. Thirdly, water sky dragon that fires electricity. Probably by far one of my favorite Grim. I mean, I love dragons, so the one from last season, really love that. But this is a water and sky dragon that fires lightning. So, of course, I'm going to be very biased towards it, but I'm still kind of up in the air of which one I prefer more. But, of course, again, biases. 
Thirdly, them going to the one, I, I forgot what the name of the island was, but the island where all the faunists go, or come from, or whichever, they're going there. Fourthly, the scenes with Yang in it, I really did like those. I assumed we were going to get them at some point. And the arm thing completely called it. But it may be a while before she actually uses it. I want to say in the latter half of this season, like the first season, she's still dealing with her trauma and dealing with the fact that she's only got one arm now. But then later towards the end of the season, when everything starts wrapping up for the climax, she's going to get the arm on, practice with it, see how it works, and then go back to regular old Yang. Well, not completely, but get to get back in there as well. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Um, I believe that's it. I still believe that she's going to go see her dad. Because you see it in the intro. She's there with Sun, then her dad comes in, and then I think her sister? Or was it a brother? I couldn't tell if it's a little sister or a little brother. I never looked that well. And then he just pushes Sun off to the side, which further adds to the pairing. So there's that. And I still believe that, like I said at the beginning of the video, that her dad was the original leader of the White Fang before Adam Taurus took power. So, that's really all there is for this episode. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully we get some more then. I will see you then.